PCI 4.0 kit comes preloaded with various compliance test bench templates to help SI engineers to start quickly. Plus, using a kit eliminate all the work-related settings for simulation criteria. In this video, we will learn how to use compliance kit for PCI 4.0 simulation. So let's get started. In the first step, we'll open Topology Explorer 17.4 from Cadence Program menu, and from Cadence Products, we have to select either advanced SI2 or advanced SI license and click on OK. Once Topology Explorer is open, we are going to create new topology. So we have to click over new. Before going further to select any complex kit, we have to rename the topology and put the location where you wanted to save it. So in our case, we are going to name it PCI4 underscore kit and we are going to save it in desktop. After setting the path and topology name, we can click over Compliance Kit tab. And from here, we have to select PCI4 Compliance Kit. Once we have selected PCI4 Compliance Kit, we'll get two options. Either we wanted to simulate for PCI4 Channel with Crosstalk or PCI4 Single Channel Analysis. In this case, we are going to select PCI4 Single and click on Create button. So as you can see, we have already opened the PCI4 single channel analysis template. Now in the next step, we are going to set analysis options for transmitter and receivers. To do that, we have to go to PCI4 compliance kit and from here under simulation setup, we have to select set analysis options. Then analysis option window will open. From here, you have to select transmitter primary. Now, as you can see, as of now, the data rate for this simulation is set for 16 Gbps. Simulation pattern is random. If you wanted to change it to particular pattern, you can just select it. Enter all the data streams or data stream patterns you wanted to simulate for. Then in signaling type, we can see it is set for polar NRZ. If you wanted to change it to pulse amplitude modulation 3 and 4, you can switch between polar NRZ and PAM signaling type. Now in the next step, I'm just going to show you how you can introduce jitter and noise in the bit stream. To do that, you have to go to transmitter jitter and noise column. Just select it and it will direct you to jitter and noise form. Now here you can add the parameters for jitter and noise. So whatever the parameter will introduce, these parameters will be incorporated into the stimulus bit stream, which will be applied to transmitter. Once you have set all the parameters, click on OK. Similarly, you can go to receiver primary and change its jitter and noise parameters and click on OK. Once you have select all the analysis options, now we can go to choose compliance items. To do it, you have to go to choose compliance item link from the workflow. And from here, you can select all the I parameters, insertion and return losses and jitter test parameters. In our case, we are going to select everything except the last one because it is little bit time taking simulation. So if you want, you can do it as well. But in our case, we are going to uncheck that. Then close it. Now we are good to go for running the simulation. To run the simulation and analysis, you have to click over check compliance link from the workflow. Now it is asking to add simulation name. In our case, it is PCIe4 and click on OK. So as you can see, the simulation is started. It will take two to three minutes to load all the reports and results. Once the compliance analysis is done, we'll see this kind of report window. We can just maximize it. And here we can find out it is failing for a couple of compliance tests. For example, I mask, differential insertion loss and differential return losses. To see the exact problems, you have to click over any of these link so let's say I'm clicking over I mask and it will direct us to this I mask window. Now, if you'll zoom in, we can clearly see the I mask is outside the actual waveform. All right. So that means it is failing this particular I mask. You can find out what is the issue. And similarly, you can check other fields apart from report. We can also check simulation results from workflow. To do that, you have to click over browse results from workflow. So once we'll click over browse results, it will direct us to SSI viewer 
and from here you have to select channel simulations and click on show results once all the results are open you can go to windows and click over cascade view so as you can see the first report is channel report which have we have already seen and here we will find all the jitter noise eye contour related information we'll just close it in the next window we'll see 3d eye density viewer so from here you can see the 3d plot between probability density ui and voltage and in the next window we'll see eye contour now if i wanted to see the received waveform or whatever the data bit stream that we have received at receiver side we have to select waveform from this option and we can see the received waveform now if you wanted to zoom in you can just click over this and drag the mouse cursor and here we can see received signals at the receiver side similarly if you wanted to see other results you can check all these boxes and click over show results all right so this is how you can see pci 4.0 compliance using topology explorer compliance kit for more tutorials visit us at resources.emaeda.com and don't forget to like and subscribe our youtube channel